What's going on, you two? Welcome back to the show. Dude, so thanks for having us back. again. Well, man, you, you keep giving us this big, big show on MTV. Help, I'm in a secret relationship. You, you know what's really become a fun thing to watch on this? Your guys' facial expressions and your body language. Because it's like, okay, here's this storyline going on. How are they going to react to this? Uh, I think I think that's the name of the game for Ronnie and I. And, you know, with these new, new batch of episodes, it couldn't be truer than ever. I mean, just the amount of awkwardness, of shock, uh, of kind of biting our tongue, of just holding each other, uh, trying not to, to kind of break down. I mean, just one after another. It's We're back and it's bigger than ever. How do you prepare yourself, Ronnie, for, for those moments where they do send you a shock and awe bomb and it's like, oh my God, I mean, you really just told that to me? Well, uh, to be honest, a lot of times I'm taken aback, right? And it's pretty much written all over my face. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, for me, it's just trying to take the information in and use it as a catalyst to help the person who has reached out to us for assistance, right? Assistance. We've we've been called, we've been summoned, and we travel to these places for a purpose, and it's to give this person the answers that they've been looking for. Um, and I think that these people lead with the level of vulnerability that I admire. And so when we do receive these tidbits that could be true, could be speculation, we kind of, we have to take it to them with care. So while we might be taken aback or shocked by it, it is pertinent information for this person's story. So I think, you know, we want to lead with heart. Yeah, <laughs> and leave yeah. our judgment at the door. So, <laughs> you know, we try our best. Travis, songwriter to songwriter here. When you run into these stories like this, does it inspire you to write a song? Because, my God, you're right there in front of real life. And it's like, man, I got to put this in a song sometime. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, but nothing is off the table. I'll kind of have to keep that in my back pocket for sure. <sighs> Lo locating love, Ronnie, I mean, it's hard enough, but then to find out that it's a lie, that right there is like, uh-oh, there's a cliff, and how are we going to get out of this? I mean, I think to love is to be human, yep. right? And then you are deceived in such a way and kind of gaslit and stonewalled in terms of communication. I mean, you've, you've, you've seemingly met the perfect partner, and the only reason – that you're asking us for help is something is is gravely wrong. And so we're meeting these people at a very dark time, a very confusing time, where they don't feel secure in their relationships. And then to find out that there's some overarching reason um, that could be negative, it's, it's devastating to witness. And that's why we come in it with a level of compassion, um, because we also are aware that you know, honesty does not always breed a positive outcome. And it's trying to you know, table emotions in the hopes that these people can come out of it fresh and anew, but that's not always the case. But uh, losing a love, it could be devastating for sure. Yeah, because the healing process, I mean, one, one of the things that we don't get to see as as viewers is everything that's behind the camera, you know, because when things when somebody does do something that puts us in that moment of, oh, my God, I mean, they're, 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 there's there's like a safety net for those that are involved. Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, we want people to leave better than we left them, yeah. right? But the reality is that's not always the case. And sometimes when a tough decision is made that, you know, I'm walking away from the situation, it's better for the person, right? This relationship could have been bringing them down and we are meeting people where they feel like they're not enough. We're meeting people who feel like they're not pretty enough or not smart enough or don't bring enough to the table. Mm -hmm. And it's all because someone has insecurities and that's devastating. So if you can't, if you don't have confidence enough in, in me to love you, regardless of whatever it is you're keeping from me, then we have, we have, I have some concerns because you can't build a, a positive relationship off of a foundation of deception. Travis, you guys are changing lives, not just on MTV, but in, in our living rooms as well. I mean, because those that you're with on the, on the show, that's one thing. But out here, when we're watching it, you're changing our lives as well. Oh, man. I, I You know what? I never even thought about that until you put it in that context. That was beautifully said. Um, and 
Aaron, I might I might have to steal that. I'm just going to be completely <laughs> honest with you. <laughs> that was so profound. That was so good and like humbling, you know? Like you're right, Travis. I didn't even think about that because we're we're right we're right we're in it with the couples, right? And when the cameras are there, obviously the world is watching, but it's you, you kind of it's on the peripheral, right? We're focused on these two couples, but when it's airing, you know, some of these stories impact a lot of people nationwide. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to steal that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the two of you, how do, how do you feel about these? Because first of all, I, I, I think that help I'm in a secret relationship is an antenna to culture. In other words, you guys are so in touch with what's going on with reality that you've got morning shows across the radio stations that are sitting there trying to do the same thing that you're doing. And it's like, don't, don't copy Travis and Ronnie. Don't do that. That's their presence. Oh, man, I think it's just, you know, it's kind of the nature of the beast when it comes to relationships, right? It's like everyone wants to be in love. Everyone wants to find their person. And oftentimes you can want something so bad that you ignore all of the red flags. And, you know, now people have resources um, exactly like this show where Ronnie and I can kind of come in and use our expertise and lend a helping hand to get them some answers, you know, to let them know whether or not this is, this is a relationship worth fighting for. You guys really are experts at this, aren't you? Because I mean, because you experience it and you bring things forward. And because I mean, I'm, I'm sure that when you're walking down the everyday street, you don't look at the world the way we do. You're, you're able to look into the emotions in someone else's eyes or body language. I mean, I think that I, I I would like to think that we were chosen for this this job because yeah. we do lead with empathy, right? And we leave our judgment at the door. And I will say, having worked on this show, it has upped uh, my empathy as far as how I approach people in my own life, how I approach myself, um, how I approach strangers, you know, and. I think this 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 show has taught me a lot about myself and relationships at large. So yeah, I think it's it's important and I'm honored that we've been given this platform to to speak about very real things and to speak about matters of the heart and secrecy and feelings of abandonment. Cause I think a lot of what we touch on are universal emotions. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations on this brand new season. You guys have got to come back to this show anytime in the future. Oh, you know we will. (laughs) We would love to. (laughs) You guys be brilliant today, okay? All right, we will. Thank you so much, Arrow.